assalamu alaikum students today i will tell you some important points about the earthquake and tsunami so this presentation is about the earthquake what is an earthquake earthquakes are the shaking rolling or sudden shock of the earth's surface they are the earth's natural means of releasing stress earthquakes can be felt over the large areas although they usually last less than 1 minute earthquakes cannot be predicted although scientists are working on it what causes an earthquake there are about 20 plates along the surface of the earth that move continuously and slowly past each other when the plates squeeze and stretch huge rocks form of their edges and the rocks shift with great force causing an earthquake as the plates move they put forces on themselves and each other when the force is large enough the crust is forced to break when the break occurs the stress is released as energy which moves through the earth in the form of waves which we feel and call an earthquake what are plate tectonics the plate tectonics theory is supported by a wide range of evidence that considers the earth's crust an upper mantle to be composed of several large thin relatively rigid plates that move relative to one another the plates are all moving in different directions at different speeds sometimes the plates crash together pull apart or spike side swipes each other when this happens it commonly results in earthquake what is seismograph look at the diagram this is a seismograph in it is an instrument used for recording the intensity and duration of the earthquake important terminologies epicenter the point on the earth's surface directly above the source of the earthquake seismic waves the energy created by the earthquake that travels in the waves from the epicenter where they are strongest rector scale a measurement of an earthquake's intensity each one point increase on the scale indicates 10 times the amount of the shaking and 33 times the amount of energy the energy released by a large earthquake may be equal to 10000 times the energy of the first atomic bomb rector scale 4 minor earthquake mod 5 moderate earthquake 6 strong earthquake 7 major earthquake 8 great earthquake earthquake safety tips before an earthquake choose a safe place in every room such as under the study piece of the furniture like a table desk where nothing can fall on you practice drop cover or hold on drop under something study hold on or protect your eyes by pressing your face against your arms prepare a disaster supplies kit for your home and car include a first aid kit can food and a can opener bottle water battery operated radio flashlight protective clothing and written instructions on how to run off electricity gas and water during an earthquake drop cover and hold on stay indoors until the shaking stops stay away from the windows if you are in bed hold on and stay there protecting your head with pillow if you are outdoors find a clear spot away from the building trees power lines then drop the ground to the ground if you are in a car slow down and drive to a safe place stay in the car until the shaking stops after the shaking stops check for injuries check for injuries inspect your home for the damage eliminate fire hazards so turn off the gas if you think it's leaking Ex uh, expect after shocks after time you feel one drop cover and hold on conclusion 
Today we have learned about the earthquake, its reasons, its measurement and its aftershocks.